Peoria fire officials again asking to restore public safety resources. This comes after back-to-back -back weekend house fires that land two captains in the hospital. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Welp. And I'm Shelby Roberts. WMBD's Durante Matthews joins us live in studio to show us how the fire department is now hoping the city's COVID-19 relief funds can help. Durante? And Shelby and Mark, fire officials say suiting up and heading into the flames on a daily basis is already a risky job, but they say doing it with reduced resources due to COVID revenue loss and budget issues is a recipe for disaster. Rubble, grime, and debris. All the charred remains from one of two back-to-back -back Peoria house fires Saturday night. There wasn't a, a crew on Saturday night, early Sunday morning, uh, that, that works in the city of Peoria that wasn't involved in these two fires. Fire Chief Jim Bachman thinking and applauding all involved. He says they used every resource they had, including calling in five extra people, two of which to replace two captains sent to OSF for burns and to relieve others who were drained. All of the crews, you know, with the heat and, and what they had been through were, were pretty exhausted. He says one of the homes was a total loss, causing this year's 14th emergency demolition. Bachman says it seems to be getting harder to get to the fires quick enough and spray them out. And we understand that that's really difficult this time and you know where the city's finances are but certainly uh, another fire machine uh, could have made a difference. But Peoria Firefighters Local 50 President Ryan Brady says Saturday's close call should be a wake-up call for city leaders. The last thing we want to see is a civilian or firefighter injury or tragedy you know even worse you know loss of life because we can't put enough firefighters on the scene of one of these incidents. He says he's hoping the city can dedicate some of its remaining COVID recovery funds to the fire department. Hopefully um, you know our council prevails they make the right decisions and restore uh, this money because we desperately need it. Second District Councilman Chuck Grayup says he's advocating for just that but says it's ultimately the council's decision on how to spend the relief funds. We have a couple of years to figure it out, but we're going to have to move quickly because lives are in danger now. We saw that with the firefighters who were injured just recently. And we're told those two firefighters have been released from the hospital and are recovering. Now, last month, city manager Patrick Urich said the city's COVID relief funds is not an ongoing stream of revenue. And city leaders discussed taking their time to use the one-time revenue the most efficient way possible. 